Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel Proston Panda and this is Devan Mitra here. Need AIR 165, KPY SX AIR 374 and KPY SA aptitude test cleared. So today we are going to talk about what students should do after the KPY SX or SA exam is over. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So what to do after the KPY exam is over? There are mainly three types of people. Point number one. People who can forget about the exam Point number 2 People who cannot forget about the exam And point number 3 People who gave it like there was nothing to lose So first the third category because it's the shortest category For third people there's absolutely nothing to say No need to worry about the answer key, no need to worry about result Just continue on your journey And since you haven't given it like nothing to lose And I think that you haven't given it so seriously So prepare seriously for what you are actually aiming to do. First category, the exams have already been given, the results can only be declared and you have no further active role in it like you have to prepare for it and then you have to give the exam. No, everything is finished. The result is only left to be declared and this result is not in your hands. It's in the hands of the organizers of the exam. Utilize this factor and since you are able to forget and not be bothered or bogged up by only like when the result of KPY will come out or what marks have I scored you should utilize this advantage that you have got over many such other students stop procrastinating about it and focus on your further dream the most important thing now is to talk about the second group of people the one who cannot forget about the exam and are still quite nervous about it and are continuously thinking about it day and night like this thing I have done wrong so, my first advice would be, at the onset, to initially try to forget. If not, and you are like shaking with fear, then continue your studies throughout the day, but a lot of 15 minute slot each and every day. It is customized to your own needs. This ideally shouldn't be done, but since you are having problems and are shaking with fear, so this has to be done. This 15 minute slot should be utilized in going to that KPY official website and checking out if the answer key has been released or still has not been released. When you get the answer key, match it with your memory and then forget about it. No point further thinking and wondering that which question you have got wrong, this question I could have done if I could have seen it a bit more and this question's answer have absolutely forgotten. So is it right or is it wrong? There's no point for the thinking about it. You have given the exam. Only the result will come. The result is not in your hands. Just get this into your mind that your exam is over and now I have to move on. Get back to the drawing board. If you have made some serious mistakes, improve and get those mistakes correct in your final goal. Controlling the urge to compare needlessly with your friends is what separates the enthusiastic and the successful from the over-enthusiastic and less successful. Always remember that excitement and fear are two such emotions which are very good in a little amount or I would better say in a measured amount for our brain. But once these two get beyond the reaches of our brain and are beyond our subconscious control, that is when we start faltering and we start making mistakes. If you like this type of content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and share it on as many platforms and with as many people as you can. Comment down below if you like this type of content and what more type of things you want to see further on this channel. Peace out, adios amigo, let's go.